Hello and welcome. So today we're going to continue our journey with the Alienware M16 R2, new for 2024 with a completely new redesign. We'll talk in a separate video about all that's changed with the new M16 R2 for this year. But for now, let's focus on something that I think many of you want to know. In this short video, we'll talk about the acoustics performance of this laptop, that is how loud does it get. We'll look at the thermal performance, that is how hot does it get. And we'll look at the surface temperatures across the device deck to see how hot the keyboard, the keys, particularly the WASD, WASD keys, and the other areas of the keyboard get. Now that there's been a significant change with the thermal shelf that used to be back here on the rear end of the device has been removed, we want to look at if there's been a significant improvement or rather a reduction or regression in the actual thermal and acoustic performance of this particular laptop. Before we jump in though, please click subscribe to get subscribed to this channel and click that notification bell so that you're the first to know when there's new content available here. And stay tuned till the end. At the bonus, we'll have a section where you can see the actual wattages and the power levels that are going to the CPU and the GPU in this newly redesigned laptop. We've got Meteor Lake on board here, which is the 14th generation Intel CPUs new for 2024 with all of the AI cloud that we're seeing this year. Plus, we've got, of course, still the RTX 4070 from last year. So has the 4070 power levels changed? Have we seen a bump up? Has there been improvements in the hardware, perhaps with the software, with the drivers to get above that 100 watts that we were seeing pegged last year? year well stay tuned to the end to find out
Alright, well conclusion time. So after having watched these videos, I'm sure you can now see that the actual uh, sound noise from this can be very very well under control, but you have to make sure you avoid that overdrive mode because basically it just cranks everything up to 11. And unless you know that you need that type of performance, you're better off staying in performance mode or perhaps even drop down into balance mode if you can play at 60 FPS locks or play perhaps at a lower resolution such as 1080p. On a 16 inch size versus a traditional 15 inch size that we're used to, you won't see that much of a difference. So the trade off is ultimately up to you. And overall, the surface temperatures are well controlled. So great job Dell and Alienware for getting this design done right. We didn't end up trading the thinness and the lightness of this laptop in a new overall redesign that's narrower and more traditional form factor and gave up that 
that heat. So I'm glad to see that we're on board here and the heat therm and thermals are in check. And finally, I think the most surprising thing of this video, I hope it is for you as it was for me, is we're finally starting to see the performance on that 4070 where it should be. So last year, all throughout the year, there was a fiasco where we had 4070 powers being limited to well under 100 watts during gaming sessions. And now as I've just demonstrated here in just only two games, and of course there's a few more that can demonstrate this fact, that we're now finally starting to see the 4070 stretch its legs and edge closer to that differential that we have between the 4070 and that 4080. So this year I think absolutely the 4070 gets my win and absolutely my approval for anybody who's looking to keep their budgets in check while still being able to game at some awesome frame rates on really high resolution such as this one here, 2560 by 1600. That said, if you still want the best of the best and want all of the ray tracing goodness that I'm sure is going to come in the year or two in games, then you're going to want to step up to a 4080 as that'll probably be the entry level, including that 12 gigabytes of VRAM for games coming in the near very in the very near future. So that's all I have to say, say for now. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you like this content, please click on that subscribe button and hit that notification bell so that you're the first to know when there's new content available here. Thanks, thanks very much for watching and we'll see you in the next video.